session! <laughs> Welcome to uh, beautiful Uptown Burbank. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I am Rob Schraub, and I'm going to be filling in for Jeff Davis. Come trolling. Thank you. Let's bring up Spencer Crichton. And uh, the mayor of Harmontown himself, Mr. Dan Harmon. Thank you. I totally crashed after that. <laughs> oh, yeah? You're, you're, you're all out I'm of energy now? Night. Oh, shit, I'm fucking you old. You really pumped him up. You warmed him up. <laughs> hey, uh, I was talking to Cody about this. Uh, the, 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 we, I, we, I was talking to her about masturbation. and. Uh, okay. And I, I, was, I was telling her about a trick that you told me you used when you would walk home from school. <laughs> done this like 18 times on many different podcasts oh, about okay. like did you talk about it on this one i probably did but <laughs> we could do it again the, go ahead the, 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 uh, the fake arm oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah. i was a, a da vinci of jerking off <laughs> i was like a, uh i had like well we had like the parkas you know so it's like winter and you're walking home and you know you're in eighth grade, so everything makes you horny, and you just want to jerk off, and you can't wait till you get home. So I would slip my hand out of my sleeve and have like the empty sleeve in my pocket, right. and my hand on my pants, and uh, was jerking off as I was walking <laughs> home because I couldn't wait right. ten minutes. Right. And Co Co Cody said, uh, uh, "Why? Why not just?" use the bathroom at the school and then oh yeah i did uh, that too right yeah i was trying to explain like, to her dude, like, don't you know that there's not a bathroom on the way home there's sidewalk <laughs> yeah 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 i mean i would run home it's a, one, one day fifth grade like just bing and then i thought i invented it and then i just yes yeah. start hanging it. out and I, I would just yeah. run. I would sprint home. Yeah. And uh, everybody would be like, hey, Dan, what? Uh, and I'd run home, and I'd just, like, rip off all my clothes and hump every pillow in the, in the house while looking at Penny from Inspector did you, Gadget. Did you think <clears throat> you were... I was you... her age. <laughs> <laughs> it was romantic. It was, like, uh, remains of the day. Did you think, like... We grew up together. <laughs> in a society that kept us apart. I used to think, I have a feeling you were probably the same way. Like, I used to feel like, man, I am so good at jerking off. Like, yeah. like nobody knows I'm doing it. Well, like, well, I, 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 can, I could be in the, I go to the, nobody, I'm so smooth. I've got it all figured out. And then you, you get to it, be an adult. No, everybody knew you yeah. were jerking off constantly. They just didn't want to go. Stop. Yeah, no one wants to acknowledge, no one wants to say, I know what you're doing. But, but uh, I, was, I mean, I've talked about this on, on, the, on the podcast. It's like, like the, I had an unusual, the, reason, the only reason I didn't use the arm trick, which I did as an adult, by the way. I, and I, I, I remember you telling me about doing it walking home, and I was in my car, and I was Works like, I, I, I'm out of control. I got to do something, and yeah. I, it's rush hour. And I, I just, I, 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 I made a little fake arm, and I tried jerking off of the car. You tried? In the middle of Los Angeles. Angeles traffic. Yeah, I can't even remember if I succeeded or if it, I, I, can't, I really can't remember. But uh, and then Cody's like, "Why wouldn't you just pull over?" And I'm like, when, "Once you pull over and are just you're, you're just like a hair's breadth away from a sex offender, like you're." <laughs> and then she told me this story. She's like, "You're right. I, I she was walking. And it was probably there's probably women in the uh, audience right here that, that this has happened to. It's all too common. She was walking and uh, and some guy said, "Hey, come here," and he was like in his car like with the window down and she went over like and, and he had his dick in, in his hand and he was like wrenching at it and and she was like ah what fuck you you piece of shit god damn it ah. and, and and like he then he just drove off and i i was like does he do that all all night and then like does he eventually come? like the next block down <laughs> excuse me you well, I mean, Come obviously he's getting that he, he he's not so he's not trolling for someone who's like into it. He he probably knows 
yeah. that yeah. the person's going to go, gross, stop it, no, no into that. police, that, and that's yeah. the only thing that can get them going, I which makes I, me feel a little bad for them. Yeah. The smallest violin. Uh, <laughs> But you know when your when your kinks like, involve uh, uh, social uh, tab just societal taboos like I do I do feel bad for those people because I'm sure if they could flip a switch they'd change it you know yeah I don't know. I'm sure they would there uh, there are some issues uh, uh, <laughs> but anyways but I, as, I, as I've explained to you and explained to them like I what, what, for a part of my childhood like there, I can't remember where when I was finally just like what are you doing just use your hand like a fucking person uh, I I had this hang up about masturbation, so I had myself convinced that what I was doing when I was masturbating was not masturbation because I was humping things. Mm. So yes. then I was, and I remember like being like I don't know eleven, and uh, mm. and uh, I was, and I was, I was going I was mm, sleeping like in the same. I was sleeping in the same living room as my uncle, my dad. We were at my grandma's cottage. <clears throat> that makes it sound so fancy. I think yeah. it's not the crazy. word I would have picked. Uh, rather, we had my grandma had this cottage. She was sleeping in her room. My dad was sleeping in the only other room. So I was sharing the living room with my uncle. I had a cot. I was eleven. I had just. I was. I was at the peak of my. Uh, you know, I I, I. 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 I was into two things: Ender's Game and humping stuff. And <laughs> and and I was all done with Ender's Game. Um, <laughs> That'd be a good double feature, though. <laughs> Ender's I'm game here to and read hump. Ender's Game yeah. and Hump Stuff. Yeah. And Ender's Game is a short book. <laughs> um, but I, 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 so I just started, like, I'm just, like, humping the cot. It's, like, it's just quiet. We're in the country. There's crickets, and then there's just this squeaking cot. Like, <laughs> and I'm just, like, I just, I, I can't, I can only remember it, you know? Like, I can't even relate to it as an adult talking about it. Like, and obviously we can't talk to an 11 year old about it. Uh, but I just, you know, Are there any you, here? some of you were 11 year old boys and you remember kind of vaguely how it just, like, it was just, it was, it must have just been because you're so small and the hormones are so new and you're just, they make up 90% of your bloodstream and you're just like a paneling nail. You're just everywhere you go, you're just, you're just nailing stuff and like, 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 you just can't, it never stops and you're just like, you love it and you hate it and you're a slave to it. And then I was just like, I was like, you know, on the cot and, and I was just, you know, trying in vain to like not, it's, it's like my uncle's kind of like tossing and turning and snoring and and then and then and then he just like after after a really long arduous time he like he sat up and I froze and then he like made a big deal out of like going to the bathroom and he took a really long time and I truly do think I think he was like Jesus Christ if I pretend to take a shit will you finish I really think that's what he was doing but I just froze because I was like oh god is that I was thinking is that what's happening did he hear me was he awake the whole time and now is that what he's doing and it took me so long to just deal with that <laughs> humiliation that he eventually came back and and then I was like well <laughs> he must have been so pissed like are you kidding me well you uh, didn't have bunk beds like Jeff and I did <laughs> Jeff, your brother. My brother. My brother was on the bottom bunk. Yeah. So what do you what? So do you guys just listen to each other? Or oh, I didn't. He listened to me. <laughs> Probably. I mean, I mean, just because I was a, a, you know, I was a mantras humper too. So it's just like I'm just I'm picturing, and I felt like, man, nobody knows. I'm so fucking good at this. I'm like smooth, man, smooth operator. And he's probably, and you know, Jeff, he's not gonna like go, hey, hey. Enough! Yeah. Come on, you know? So people gotta work for a living, you yeah. know? Like, but poor Jeff, he's got like the, 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 the spring mattress was probably. Oh, jeez. Oh, dear. And he's your older brother. Older so, brother. So he's sitting down there going, like, oh, boy. What did I miss? You know, like, why isn't he doing it too? Maybe he was. <laughs> I didn't know. Just, Sound travels downward. <laughs> All right, well, uh, yeah, there's not much of a show tonight, as you can see. It's Because uh, I'm here. Jeff's gone. We replaced yeah. him with Schraub. Uh, <laughs> Dun Duncan Trussell was, was, I told him come to the show, but I think he might be just like, 
You might be at meltdown going, what the fuck? Yeah. I, I mean, that's no joke. That might so that could be the empty, case. Empty, empty. I did his podcast, and you know, and I was like, you should come do mine, but but whatever. I hear you watched old it uh, recently. Old yeah. It. Yeah, I watched uh, Stephen the old Stephen King's it. Got caught up on that. Yeah. In anticipation of the new Stephen King's it. Yep. <laughs> old it and old it versus new it. I've seen old it a, a lot. I probably watched it with you a bunch of times, and I just saw the new It, like, last weekend. You saw the new one? I saw the new It, yes. Do they all float? They, they do. <laughs> they do. Uh, but uh, what did you say about the, the old It? Not much. Nobody got, Cody watched it with me, and she's like, nobody floated. No. We kept saying they all float down here. Yeah. There was never any... And we all float down here. And we have Not talked really. about the fact that in the book, uh, the, the boys all have sex with the girl. Right. When because they're kids. Because it's her idea. She goes, well, it's <laughs> one thing left to do. The only way to get out of this sewer dimension is to, well, all right. And all the boys are going, Jesus Christ, are you serious? It's the thing about Stephen King. It's like it's hard to put your finger on what what he's good and bad at. But like, yeah. he's, he's like, <laughs> well, yeah. I, I, I think if he was sitting here, he would yeah. he would be like, yeah, that's true. I don't. Yeah. I I I I I just I just I know his origin story has something to do with as I've said. Like I think you know in in the Marvel movie where Stephen King is a is a hero in the first 20 minutes he's like carrying his typewriter and he drops it and the backspace key fall, flies off <laughs> and he's just like God, but I have to turn in a oh, and then he's like it's gonna be holy shit you can make it up as you go it's gonna be a thousand pages long uh, can't stop and I think he'd agree with that. I don't yeah. think he'd be offended by that. I, 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 it, it's one thing. The thing. The thing about like the scene of in the book, it where all how many boys are there? It's like Beverly. How many? Six. six. Five. Six. <laughs> Let's say five. <laughs> they like Beverly starts taking off her clothes, and they're like, "Oh, holy shit! I guess we're gonna have to. I guess we're gonna have to have sex with her." You know. It, and, but and aren't they like 10? They're 11. Okay, all right. <laughs> and, and, and I would be, I was like, okay, gross, and I understand you're doing exploitation. You could have wrote, fade out, fade up. They're all putting their sneakers on and going, wow, that was terrific, and now we can get out of the sewer. But page after page of description and commenting on sizes and, and shit and like going... I'm like, oh, okay. I really don't need to know that it's the like, fat it's like kid has the biggest fiction, dick. But he's like, his favorite show is children. Like, he's like. <laughs> it was All just, right. It was but a, but I, you know, I mean, that being said, I mean, like, it, 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 it he's. But, but I but, love but, Stephen King. But but it. it it's, 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 it's the only thing. It's like when you watch when you watch the uh, the old it, which is available on your little and it's consoles. not called the old it. So it, it. when you're <laughs> typing it in, I keep typing in the old it, and it and it's not showing up. It's just it. It's a two part miniseries. It well, was also, done in nineteen ninety. You should be aware the studio that makes those sort of like African American recreations of like about last night and stuff like that. There's a there's a black it. Um, <laughs> Uh, called uh, Blackish. Uh, I'm sorry, I, you had a bit. I, I know. Well, I, I didn't have a bit, but it's the, Jesus Christ. I know. I, I, <laughs> that's just the name of a show. I was like, and it sounds like Black It. My, you, my, went, you know. You just, you just connect, I just say you just, stuff. You just see a dot. You just connect the one you're on. Yeah. I, 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 yeah. The Stephen King of talking. Uh, I have no. I don't have a backspace. And who here isn't? Hi, Spencer. Yeah. How are you? Hey, guys. Yeah. I, I just I, I, every, everything everything for, this is the thing that I think Stephen King may is either good or bad at but in any case he's it's it's an extreme condition he has everything's a device everything's like a crucifix everything's a there's like 90 things in it that if you use the power of of positivity or whatever. Yeah. If, if you recite the birds in your Boy Scout manual, it makes the 
Tim Curry clown go go away. If you if you just aren't afraid, if you just hold hands and ignore everything, it it only can hurt you if you pay attention. If it, if you if you have an asthma inhaler, you can just say it's acid and squirt it. It's it's a, it's a slingshot. It's silver. It's a, and every step of the way. Because he doesn't want to, do, he doesn't want to go back and like refine anything. Every, every people are just like, hey, I brought a slingshot and I brought a, I brought my mom's earrings. They're silver. How do we know that'll work? If we believe it, it'll work. Oh, well, fuck, you. <laughs> fuck you. But you have, you do you have a favorite Stephen King like adaptation book or something? You, I mean, come I've on. always said I liked his stuff when he was like a kid. Like when you read those, those book, Bachman kind of? books, like yeah. our, our, the Long Walk, I thought was just like That's really great. simple and granular. It's like you know, a hundred kids and they walk until one of them's left, and if you drop below ten miles an hour walking, they shoot your brains out. Um, I cool. like Carrie. I think Carrie, the Carrie, the book is is great. Yeah. Okay. Well. <laughs> Remember right. when I told you about the library policeman? <clears throat> when I was listening to on on uh, I was listening to the book on tape, the library policeman, which is a stor- short story, uh, where there's this guy who's like, oh man, something bad happened to me as a kid. I can't recall it because I blocked it, and it's the thing I have to get over this fear, otherwise I'm I'm gonna I won't be able to kill this monster in the library. Oh, how am I gonna get over this thing that I can't remember that happened to me as a kid? You know, and I'm listening to it for like days because I'm on the way to work. I would listen to it like you know, like 20 minutes at a time. And then finally, it was like the chapter where we he meets up with him, like he faces this fear. And Kate and I were like going to a party, and I go, Hey, hun, you know. Uh, t- I just really want to know what happens here. Do you mind if I just play this on the way? And she's like, yeah, I don't give a fuck. Whatever, do whatever you want. I don't give a shit. All right? All right. I'm like, oh, thanks, honey. I love you. And then, boop. And then it goes into, again, great detail about how when he was eight years old, he was molested by this, this guy in the bushes and just describing in great detail about like how the warm jelly went up his ass. And I'm just... And it's just like a quiet drive. <laughs> and it's like, I don't want to press stop because that's admitting that this is gross and whatever. And Kate is just like, <laughs> I'm fucking married to this guy. I'm, this is what I, I guess I signed up for this. I, I need, oh my Who God. was reading the book on tape? Oh, uh, uh, I forget his name, but he was, his name was, it was the guy who played the White Shadow. In the, remember the TV series, The White Shadow? Mm-hmm. You guys remember The White Shadow from the 70s? It's a show. Okay, all right. It was that guy. He was a white basketball coach and then uh, his mostly black uh, high, sc- was it high school. Was it a high school basketball team? I believe it was a high school basketball team. And it was called <laughs> The White Shadow. It was called The White Shadow. A little, 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 little playing with the oh. concepts of. Shadows are black usually and white. not white. <laughs> They're the opposite. <clears throat> Hi, Spencer. Hey, guys. Yeah. Spencer, if, if, you you're, watch... if you're like a 10-year-old black kid and you're watching that show in the 70s, you're like, the white shadow. Oh, I get it, because I'm like a shadow person. <laughs> this must be... Something like that every day. Every cereal box is a minefield. Every, every conversation, like... That's what I'm. Uh, yeah. I don't know, why, why are you guys reacting to that observation as if I did something wrong? <laughs> Is it just because you are scared that now at the end of the world someone's gonna mention? By the way, we were kind of mean to black people. Yes. Like that would make up the apocalypse a little worse. <laughs> A little awkward. A little party foul during Armageddon. Party foul. Uh, Oops, par- party nobody, foul. I just, we should do that as the... Just the, give me a second, will you? Okay. <laughs> no, you I want to make this incredibly up. clear to you. I, I don't fucking care about your opinions anymore. You're terrible people. <laughs> You're dumb. You're impressionable, manipulatable. And stupid. I know that seems like I added like a synonym for dumb, but it's two different things. You have no voice. You have no brain. You're bad people. 
You're a biomass of closet murderers. You're only held in check by your fear. Fuck off. Our next guest is performing at uh, <laughs> clubs and colleges all across the nation. Please welcome Eddie Pepitone. Eddie! Hey! Yes! All right. Follow that. Follow that. Follow that. Hi, Spencer. Oh, I can see hey, Spencer man. now. Hi, Spencer. Oh. Hi, Edward. Hello. Edward. Hello. Edward, how are you? You look great, man. What's going on? What are you I, doing? I'm, uh, I'm doing stand-up right here, actually, uh, every Wednesday night. I'm doing stand-up all over town. I'm exploring uh, stand-up, you know? I, uh, yeah, because, no, a lot of people think stand-up is just set-up punchline. I think it's a, 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 an enormous cry for help. <laughs> And, and it's tricky to make that funny, you know? But like a real, like just put my id, my id on stage and kind of try not to be embarrassed about it. How but old were you when you started stand-up? How old was I? Yeah, how old were you? 57. 57, you started? You no, started kidding. No, no, no. Uh, <laughs> boy, that fell flat. Hi, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. There you go. How, how, how is this room for stand-up? You've been doing it here for several sets, so like, what, it's, it's yeah. got to be awful, right? Like high ceilings and the... Well, story. everybody says the high ceilings, but uh, I like it. I okay. like it, actually. I don't, know, I don't know if it's just the vibe of the place. Mm -hmm. um, and and as, far as, as far as stand-up goes, it's, it's not so much what counts as high ceilings, but who is in the audience. Right. You know what I mean? I mean, at this, this show, it's been fine because it, if it's a big, giant room with high ceilings and then there's like 200 people, okay, so it's like a town hall or whatever, and also I'm right. not doing stand-up. So, but uh, right. I, I wonder, yeah, about people. But, but I, I want to let you know, and I could do this off stage too, but I don't really have anything to talk about on stage. But uh, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm pu we're, 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 we're putting the money that, we're, that we make off of the, the, the ticket stuff here. We're, we're going to work working on, cha you know, making, like, kind of, convertible, adjustable things. Oh, really? Like, fine-tune the acoustic uh, and optical experience. Make it more intimate. Like, Yeah, I want this place to be able to do a show with 30 people in the audience. You know, That's perfect for me. Yeah. <laughs> that's a little much, 30, but if you could get it down to 15, 20, that would be perfect. But then from, from what I understand, music is like, it's like, oh, yeah, no, fucking do it in the big giant warehouse. That's best for music. So I want it to, I want to be able yeah. to like hoist a chain and make it conducive to uh, a, a punk band because I'm so enthusiastic about the music scene. Uh, <laughs> Me too. I'm, I'm up on all, you know, every punk band there is. What's I your just... favorite punk band? Right now? Right now. Dirty Rats. Dirty, the Dirty Rats. Oh. They're all Cagney impersonators, and they're fucking brilliant. <laughs> it's you. Yeah. You. You dirty fucking rat. You dirty fucking rat. And they, oh, it, they just go on and on like that. It's I... all about vermin. It's good. Is that, a, is that, a, is that on Spotify? <laughs> yes. By the way, I was listening to Stalin on Pandora on the way over. And that's just a sample of what you get when you come see me. I have a little dictator playlist on Pandora. Yeah, you see, you're, you're kind of holding in your laughter. Yeah, I, I, I've got, I'm, hold, I'm holding in my laughter, yeah. I'm just sitting there. No, I'm, uh, I'm thinking of what I'm going to say next, and that's why I'm a bad interviewer. Um, <laughs> I, 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 but, but uh, what I, I've, I've, I heard because you're doing these shows here, like I've, I, th you know, I, this is no different from anywhere else you're doing shows. I'm sure you're, you're like, I feel like one of the cool things about you is that you're like, you, you've got, you've got your strong material, but then you're Eddie Pepitone. Like you just like. I'm Eddie Pepitone. If you, <laughs> do you, if you, if you go off the rails, it's kind of. Expensive. That's what I do. It's, that's what, that's what I like to do. I started, I think I started. I've been getting into these riffs about the, uh, the hurricanes. Uh, I want to try to provoke a, a, a... What's that? I want to provoke a, a, a riff, but I know that that <laughs> won't work Like if I announce well, that as my goal. I mean, I could. I, could. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I was just getting into like the ghoulishness of the coverage of the hurricanes. 
you know, first it was it was Harvey, and and, and how I get uh, attracted to the hurricane, like following the hurricane, like they 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 get to it early. The you know CNN you know the Weather Channel and they're just fine and they're like look at this fucking hu-. they don't say fuck but they're like look at this fucking that's not a good face by the oh, way sorry. to be like yeah that's better <laughs> holy shit I looked over Rob you look like God not another hurricane story. Oh, <laughs> it is kind of insane in general the storm stuff. That stems from like just this general thing where your local news, if something happened at a school, someone stabbed someone with a pencil, a school behind me, like they take the van out, they, the satellite dish goes up, but it's like, no one's getting stabbed now. They're just right. like, there's, there's, there's just rows of white vans and there's all these people and they're just at the place where the stabbing took place, like that, there's absolutely zero chance that it's going to be important to be at that location in a journalistic sense. I, <laughs> I, I, I like, like nothing's going to, like, like this not going to. It's never. There's not even an example in history of like, of, of like, oh, we, we yeah, well, we just kind of do that because you never know. No, there's nothing to never know. Like, there's not like a. I, I found an eraser. I, I, I found a clue, ladies and gentlemen. That's the police's job. Like, you're, you're not out there for any reason. But then, yeah. the, and then the storms happen, and it's just people being blown by wind. But it was hilarious because when the storms happen, you know, they the 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 weather, and they live for this. You know, what 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 I hate about it is that they they're always like, be safe. They're always like, please, right. be safe. Be safe, and oh my God, I hope, you know, this hurricane doesn't hit land, but it's the opposite. I mean, it's the, the, they, they love it. They love it because it's just a spectacle, and that's what, you know, news media is about. That's what the whole world has become about. It's all, be, it's all so, spectacle. Shot. Hold on. It's all, <laughs> it's all, you, you wanted to provoke something. Yes, I wanted to provoke Let him talk. Let him talk. For Christ's sake. Let him talk. For once. And I masturbate too, don't get me wrong. Yes, yes. I still run home and do it. <laughs> but I mean, they, so they're, they're, always, they're always like, be safe, be safe. And, and they're like, nobody should be out here, but they are out there and right. it's hilarious. Nobody should be out here having fun but me, right. Jim Cantori. It was very funny. <laughs> This guy, Jim Cantori, is apparently like the... It is very funny, too, that he's like the dean of, media, of TV meteorologists, you know, for whatever reason. The dean of TV... There's well, like, you know what I mean? Like, like, people refer to him like, what does Jim think about this storm? What does the dean think about this meteorology? I think he yes. said the king. I don't think he ever said the dean. You never said the dean. I'm just... Did I did. You, did you say the dean? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, no. Oh shit! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! What? What did I? What did I? I right. Oh, you were gonna correct me, and you were wrong. I was trying to. And you help. were wrong. I was trying to you help you. You told these people they're stupid. They are. Go fight. You're stupid. You're stupid. You didn't hear what he said, and you're closer to him. <laughs> not making them any smarter and I was trying to help you and made a mistake you're revealing that you're a bad person too I thought that you needed help and helped you don't fight mommy and daddy don't fight I don't believe you I don't believe you you don't but wait I don't believe you you thought I was trying to capitalize on yes. your <laughs> yes. your weakness look what you're doing look what you're doing it's, I have my nice hat on and you're fighting. I know, I know. It's not, it's not your, it's not your fault. It's not your hey, fault. Thank you. Now I feel. Go ahead. Has I it, never got that when I was a kid. It's not your fault. So the dean of meteorology. <laughs> Has anybody dean. ever just died? Like, 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 like the. I know. I mean, by gun, we have like horrible examples. Like that guy just fucking. It's, it's like we're living in some weird dream. What right, right, because that, that, that guy that shot, he shot a, 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 a news, a, a news crew on, while on they were film. doing the news, you yeah, know. And like a, that, that happened recently? Yeah, yeah, yeah happened like a couple years ago, year. yeah. Oh, a couple of years. Now, that to me, that's good news. Like, that is good news. That's real. That's no, really that, happening. 
but they didn't know they were covering it. I, I, they were. What? They didn't know they were covering it. They were outside <laughs> they of school, or someone got stabbed with a pencil th- three hours earlier. The the but the the yeah. it, it's weird. Like, but <laughs> we've never seen anybody. Like, no one's ever as many storms as there've been. I'm surprised that there hasn't been journalist fatalities. You know, from people like That's standing true. out in the 80 mile an hour winds. Like oh, I was so hoping. Yeah, I was so hoping. I was so hoping that, you know, this guy, they had a couple of guys, but I was so hoping they would just be carried fucking away. And, and, and one guy, one guy did not, Jim Cantori, the dean. By the way, when you say... Why you, is he the dean? Now I'm confused. Well, you've never heard that term like he is like, you know, the go-to guy as far as meteorologists. So okay. you've never heard that, that little expression, Dean? Yeah. You, have no. you ever been called into a dean's office? It's always a meteorologist. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that would be funny if you were called. Hey, how are you? I'm all right. <laughs> I feel like I got to keep him entertained. But um, <laughs> <laughs> no, because I looked at him and he had his hand over his eyes. No, he's yeah. You had that he, fucking look. That's just him listening. It's a uh, yeah. Don't. Uh, but by the way, when you said you didn't say Dean, right? Right. I want to be liked so much by everybody that I was going. To, there was a split second where I was going to go. No, I, I didn't. <laughs> right. But then like I you, realized you gonna, everybody else had heard. You were it. weighing whether to pretend you said King. All right, I get it. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I have been a, a slave to people's... Uh, hey, let me ask you this. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, p- pick your nose in front of a friend or a stranger that you'll never see again uh, on the freeway, for instance. Like, 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 like which... Oh, you know, I, you know what's amazing? I, I've thought of that a lot, um, <laughs> and I was preparing for the podcast, but I, when, when I am on, the, when I am on uh, you know, a street and I'm about to pick my nose in the car, I... I can't do it in mm-hmm. front of a stranger. Right. I can't do because it because you'll never see them again. What is that How about? How sick is that? But you'll I, like. And I. What is that about? I won't pick my nose in front of my girlfriend because I just don't want her to see me. I just don't want her to see a thing come out. But well, we, it depends on how late in the relationship it is. We we, we fart, we're farting all over each other at this point, and I, I, like, like like, and it's great. We're having a great time, and, it, and that's, a, that's <laughs> just a, a, my 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 ex wife. We we did a thing like that. I uh, Sarah Silverman uh, had told me that she and Jimmy Kimmel never farted in front of each other, so I. Just, Tried it with uh, Aaron McGathy. You know Aaron, my ex-wife, or maybe you don't. Uh, you yeah. said you're a podcast maven. Maybe you know my ex-wife. But but Aaron and I really never fart. You know, there was a p- couple couple mis- accidents happened here and there. <laughs> All Aaron. Um, <laughs> Uh, no, but, 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 but we just did it. You know, as I spent my marriage not farting. Really? It's, it's, and that's not why we got divorced. It, 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 I, I was going to say. It, it worked fine. It was like, I was, I'm surprised looking back that I was able to not fart in front of my partner for so long, given how much I fart with right. Cody. We're just farting constantly. So it's like, what, what was I, I, I don't know what natural human behavior is anymore. I don't even know what my body needed to do or what's healthy or what I just like now, now. Well, I think what you're talking about there, uh, Dan, is um, a great example of what we can do when we put our mind to something. You know, when we when we introduce our will and with your ex-wife, you were exercising tremendous will. Yeah, uh, it's, it's, yeah, because it's not like I was like in tremendous abdominal pain, going like, "Oh, well, I made this agreement." It, it wasn't. Like <laughs> a, I don't remember really needing to. Fart. Did you like go into other rooms or? I would, yeah, some every once in a while, it would mm-hmm. build up to a point. And would I you would go, cough to disguise it? Yeah, I tell like, her I'm gonna go fart. You know, like, but I just wouldn't do it in front of her. What about what about your? Oh wait, uh, same story. Sarah said the same thing about like keeping the intimacy in your relationship. And Kate and I don't fart in front of each other. Really? I mean, you're we, still doing that. I'm still doing that. And yeah. it's been seven. Is, with your Sarah, wife? is Sarah what, still my... with that guy? No. <laughs> was, was she w- during the advice? What's that? Was she during the advice? Yes. Oh, okay. She wasn't giving yeah. advice. She was just she was just she talking was just about saying, like, but I, something I, that I, she was doing yeah. with her right. partner. Yeah. But, and, I, and I thought yeah. I'd give it a try. Yeah. And it worked. It's not why we got divorced. Right. And you've d- done it for seven years, and it's and you're not getting divorced. More than that, but yeah. At I the same know. time, I can't believe it's just like I guess it's just it's just a couple thing. It's like me and Cody are like, uh, let's fart. I have been forgetting to flush the toilet, <laughs> which is causing, like, 
You've been forgetting? Issues. Yeah. Are you been, you've been I blame f- Wi-Fi. Because <laughs> it's fucking up the bees, you know? They can't right. find their way yeah. home now. Right, Spencer? The happening. Back me up. The, happening. <laughs> the Wi-Fi is screwing up the bees. Right. This is what I'm telling Kate when she comes home. Jesus Christ! Did you dump a cup of coffee in the toilet? <laughs> and a plate of spaghetti. Oh, shit! I forgot to flush the toilet. Every day you forget to flush the toilet. I, and I say, I think it's Wi-Fi. Because <laughs> bees are, are dying out because of Wi-Fi. They, they, they get the their, their radar. They can't find their way sure. home. And yeah. blah, blah, blah. So I'm thinking there's like a Wi-Fi pocket that is just between the office and the living room and the bedroom. There's like a Bermuda Triangle right where I'm going to the bathroom. And... For some reason, you know, I get done. I also have the Brondel Swash. What? Which you, the, 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 the special toilet seat. Right. You know my special toilet seat. What, 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 what's your download speed like on the toilet? Because you're, 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 you're saying the Wi-Fi is the strongest there. You're referring to it as a Bermuda Triangle, but Wi-Fi-wise, it's, it's, pretty it's good. Grand Central. It's pretty good. It's so, pretty good. Okay. Yeah. All right. But I think it's making me forget to flush the toilet. Because this is a recent thing. You I do mean, a lot of co- uh, computer work on the toilet. Is that what you're saying? You're on the. You're on. So you have a. He, I don't he, do computers on the toilet. He has a special uh, uh, seat uh, that uh, that's like a bidet. Uh, oh right, yeah. Extension upgrade on the seat. Yeah. Do you wipe your ass with toilet paper? Yeah. Okay. So to dry you, my ass so because you've it's been beautifully wi- clean you've been now wiping, because of the... You've been getting up, wiping your ass, putting the toilet paper into the toilet, right. and somehow just in walking that out microsecond, the door. I just <laughs> walk it away. Like, I got to train you it guys. May, don't you think it may be the bidet It action? comes home and opens up and it goes, what the fuck? Seriously? What's Again? Your, uh, what's your, uh, your offer, uh, this Peps? Is the bidet. Well, I don't know. Maybe it's the bidet action that is. But I've had this bidet for like I, I've been. Ha- I had a bidet for like like over like ten years. I, I mean, think it's funny you have a bidet, by the way. <laughs> and I don't consider you it, a man, like no, a real no, no. man. Yeah. <laughs> I would not watch a football game with you, or. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, when you would go to the bathroom during the game, I would be like horrified. I would be like, "Let's get the fuck out of here." Yeah. No, no. Do you hear that stream of water, yeah. Al? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just anyway, kidding. yeah, I'll I'll press the button and it'll go beep and it'll go. And it I'll goes like, beep. Yeah, it just beeps. <laughs> <laughs> I would be afraid of getting. Uh, I would be afraid of getting injured. That's what that's what the beeps for. <laughs> what? That's what the beeps for. <laughs> I, I, it's yeah. And you love it. And then you dry off with the toilet paper, and then you yep. won't have... I, and then I walk the d- fuck d- out d- the d- door. But, I, I, but this is... I've been... The bidet I've been using way longer. This is a recent thing. Like, in the last two years... No, not two. Last year, it's just been... Like, Kate's like, what the fuck is... What? And I go, I'm so sorry, honey. I just... I don't know what... Ha- I thought I did, you know? You're like... And, and now I'm so nervous about getting yelled at and embarrassed about it that like she'll come home and I'll just like go don't, don't go to the and I run in there and I'll flush the uh, toilet and, I, and I, we have a rule that just 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 to save the marriage just without opening up the seat just just flush the toilet just just for just I to mean, be safe I mean Occam's razor says it's old age I mean that's the well, I mean, easier yeah, but, explanation but, you're but, okay it, 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 Leave a, a note to yourself. Like, leave a like, note. Oh, yeah, leave a note. <laughs> tie a uh, tie a string around my finger. Uh, what 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 mnemonic device more than a toilet full of shit do? Uh, <laughs> uh, should work. I, I don't know. I mean, what I, about I, the self flushing toilets they have at airports and stuff? Why yeah, don't you get you one get of them? That. I should get one of them. You know the I self-flushers. I want to. I want to upgrade. I want to get the one that has the that blows the air. The one that like opens by itself. Uh, yeah, I want to. I want to. I want to really do it up. You know, I wanna really, really one that drives you to the airport. Yeah, I want to. One that closes Let's go, my toilet. DreamWorks deal. You, know? you piece like, of wanna. shit. Take me to LAX. You piece of shit. Do you think we would ever see in our lifetime like just an end to? 
I mean, like, like what? Do you think before we die, we'll just see at least on the internet and some kind of like like Japanese press release video or something like the technology that eliminates somehow just that no more shitting in the toilet? I would love that. Like, like I would no love more where would we? No more, I don't know. It's either like like a, a vacuum uh, type of like just like you like stand it in a booth and the, and the, and a purple line goes down your body and then there's no more poo poos in your yeah. <laughs> Body, purple yeah. line, yeah. It or, beams or it out of your or, colon. Or you just have an implant that that as you as your food becomes poop, Nanobots. there's like a there's a point in your intestinal tract where there's like a portal to to the sun. to a to a shared toilet <laughs> in Portland. <laughs> Portland. Yeah. Be- what if what if it was like you know you go like okay bye bye this new you you swallow like basically uh, a you know, a Seth Brundle like telepod. Yeah. And then you just you, you just swallow shits. a ring. It looks like an IUD, I think. Or, yeah. or what's that? Or are those like a, it's like a flexy thing, and yeah. you swallow it, and then it like it's designed to like puts a stargate in your like ass. Like when it hits a certain point, it puts a, it, put, it puts a stargate, not in your put ass. Put a star that, and that and it would be like a Sam Elliott type voice. Put a stargate in your ass. Actually, you know what? I, yeah, I'm thinking about this all wrong. Put it right in your the rim of your ass. Right. First of all, right. feels good. Second of all, you get to still have like a wing, baby wing. the feeling of taking a shit in your pants. Well, I would think that. And it's just is going into a portal. Into a portal. And then on some alien planet, this is the Starship Troopers, uh, 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 like pre pre movie or whatever. Like this, like there are all these insect people are like going, well, it's raining again. Yeah. Where's this coming from? We just tracked it. It's it's this Earth place. It just sends Let's it go five and stop years us. into the future. You know, like that's how short-sighted mm. we are as a culture. It just sends yeah. it five years into the future. We're like, come on, we'll worry about it later. Yeah. Well, luckily we won't be around too much longer. I don't yeah. think on this yeah, planet. Yeah, we're not gonna be. No, I no. don't think so. No. Not to. Bum everybody out. But yeah, about a year. I, a bit I year. doubt it's we're going to be on this planet don't, very please much Please don't longer. worry about bumming them out. They're idiots. <laughs> Man. Like, they, the, the, the difference between them being bummed I don't out think you're or idiots. excited about life... I don't think it, you're it idiots. ...is the difference between a fly uh, having a saddle on it or not. Like, who's going to notice? You can't ride a fly. That's, that's not, he He's insulting you. He doesn't mean it. He doesn't mean it. He doesn't mean it. Right, Dan? You don't mean it. I mean it. He doesn't mean it. <laughs> No, this is, part of, this is part of my therapy. I've become too reliant on people's approval. So, right. What I've always been good at is abuse. So I'm using that to wean myself off of your expectations. Uh, if it hurts you, <laughs> <laughs> well, it seems to be making. It's you not going to hurt you. You're sociopaths. You don't yeah. have feelings. There's a, yeah. it's, I, the, the, the the idea that I've been doing something or anything for people because you you have feelings. You, it's 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 been my uh, problem that I've been making your problem for 40 years. I need to figure out who the fuck I am. Me too. Uh, like, yeah. Me like, too. Like, what do I like? I, I need. I, this is the regarding Henry uh, uh, stage of our of our lives. We need to regard our Henrys. Yeah. Do I like Ritz crackers or eggs? Huh. I like Andy Peppertone. What's going on in your uh, in your personal life? Can I tell don't me dodge if I... the question? Do you like eggs or Ritz crackers? <laughs> oh. I, Thank uh, you. I think I'll go with the cracker. <laughs> That'd be good. Yeah, I mean, I. I, I... <laughs> what are you hiding? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I, I just crackers are more utility. I mean, they're, at, uh, at, it's never a bad time for a cracker. Right. Exactly. Okay, so it's you're, never a bad time for a cracker. So you're, so you're pro, you're pro cracker. You're pro cracker. Just say it. You're pro cracker. I'm Just pro say cracker. It. I'm, you're pro cracker. Yeah, I'm definitely yeah. pro wasn't cracker. Wasn't too hard. Wasn't, wasn't hard at all. Okay. On when, with the when, show. When's the, uh, 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 Eddie Pepitone, uh, uh, <laughs> I thought that was me. Uh, the, uh, yes, Dad. Are you? Uh, can we can we talk about your love life a little bit? Oh, if you want to, sure. 
Sure, sure. Uh, it's incredible. Um, <laughs> oh, sorry. I don't know I'm no, no. I mean, that was no. Your, I mean, my love life. Me. My love life is incredible. Uh, yeah, buckle in, baby. Buckle in. That's there should be a bidet right under you right now. You know what you I mean? You don't know. You don't know. You don't know. You don't know. Uh, yes, I'm married. Oh, you're married. I'm married. Um, to Mrs. Pepitone? Mrs. She did not take my name. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She what was, her last name must be awesome then, because Pepitone's pretty rad. It I, is, right? I would I mean, marry is. you. I was hurt. Name. I was hurt by that actually. Just a little, <laughs> a little hurt. Like I was like, so baby. I called my wife, baby. I'm like, so baby, um, how are we gonna do this? Are you gonna be? <laughs> <laughs> How are we gonna do this? This is becoming like an. Uh, are you um, gonna make? And she was like, you know, she she didn't flint, you know. She's like, I want to stay with uh, Karen Simmons. Makes sense. I mean, does it? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's a, if you really think, if you're like from Mars and someone explained the that rule, yeah, like they get married and then the woman's last name changes. Yeah. No, you'd be like, what? <laughs> that doesn't make really any sense. It's just what we're used to. Right. And we right. actually to the point where we also use it to express, for instance, joy or. You know, like for for somebody, I'm not knocking on any woman out there that like happily took her husband's name. Like it, it doesn't. You're not yeah. a you're not a sellout any more than anyone that uh, doesn't want to do that as an enemy of the state. It's like, but it's just crazy that like it is. It is just a crazy random rule. You know, like it's just weird. With yeah. probably roots in like horrible stuff, but but. <laughs> But you know, in, in Span, I took a Spanish class at community college, and they, oh, I they love were Spanish. that whole that, that whole like name thing. Oh that, my god! Here like we a, go again. They have like a they have like this whole rule, you know, like there's, there's this whole set of rules where it's like it's like uh, your last name gets longer in the Spanish longer language or something. Like I, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't figure it I out. I insisted mm -hmm. that Kate keep her last name. You, did she want your last name? She begged well, you. No, she begged no. you. Schwab, right? Yeah. Schwab is not, and this is not uh, anything personal. It's just not a good last hey. name. It, it just, I mean, Pepitone, Pepitone has a fucking ring yeah. to it. Oh, yeah. You know, but Schwab, it's a, it sounds like a product yeah. of some sort. Like, w have you used the Schwab today? Or, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. if you don't use a Schwab, you could get seriously ill. You know what I mean? I mean, so does Pepitone, but like an awesome product. Like it makes your tires uh, smell get, get, like get, minty. Uh, yeah, it makes your tires minty. Minty fresh. Pepitone tires. Three a.m. You're driving to the airport. You get a flat tire. It would be fine, but it stinks. <laughs> you, tires are shit. Your car's insured. Your flight can be changed, but. The smell in your nose is permanent because you didn't use Pepitone. I'm Robert Stack. <laughs> Pepitone, Ooh. the tire smeller. We were thinking, uh, some, I, think, I think it was Chris Hardwick who one time, he ran up to me and said, listen, we can make a lot of money if we do Pepitones on the iPhone or some shit like mm. that, like Pepitone. Why, why did he Look, say- Look, let me finish. <laughs> The controller <laughs> who uses a bidet. A man should not use a bidet. Round of applause if you're with me on that. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. Uh, you haven't seen my ass. I like the boos. The boos are funny. Boo! Of course they should. Yes! Of course they should. We're people. We're... We're pro day for men. Yes, it's. We're pro day. Oh, I, I really don't. I really don't care. Yes, I know you do. I'm kind of making no. it up, Let's... and that's why. Shut up. And that's why. <laughs> that's why you booing is funny to me because I really could give a shit. You seem to switch your position uh, like that. <laughs> like that. Have, do you do that? That's part of being well liked. <laughs> but Sorry. then you had to clarify for everybody. You said, "I really don't care." After you completely flipped your position. Yeah. <laughs> like we know you don't care. <laughs> you're yeah. like, "I'm pro bidet," and then they applauded, and you're like, "I don't care." <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> That's. I what... do that a lot. I don't know who I am. Yeah. I don't know who I am either. Whoa. My regarding Henry thing is Spencer knows exactly. No, who I he don't is. either. Yes, you do. It's yes. great. 
I feel like I belong on this stage. We don't know who we are. I guess it's a lot le less exciting for you guys. I can't, I, can't, I can't wait for that new iPhone. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You be, you're being no. definitely not serious, He's right? serious. Or, so I'm, I'm definitely being serious. It's got a screen that goes all the I, I way know, to I know here. exactly what person this makes me, and I'm tired of, tired of the charade. I fucking, I, I would, I, if, if Apple tomorrow announced yeah. uh, a, uh, a, a, a thumbtack that... <laughs> read your pinky print yeah. and uh, yeah. alerted you to nearby cork. Uh, <laughs> nearby what? Cork. Nearby cork. It's, a, it's, the, it's the eye tac. Uh, it's, it's, it's the... <laughs> we asked ourselves, what is a thumbtack? And the answer was, <laughs> it's not a pin. <laughs> Nor should it be. And we set about changing fundamentally the experience between the person who wants to pin something to a, a bulletin board and the pin itself. This is iTac. Um, I, I, would, I would fucking buy it. I would buy it. You would buy it? Let me put an asterisk on this because I deserve the humiliation. Uh, that I talk, that, like, wait, but I'm being... Fr but, like, I, 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 I wouldn't buy it if it was affordable. <laughs> it, it, it would have to be egregiously priced. Gross. It would have to be a $49 <laughs> thumbtack for me to go like, well, there must be something to this. And I would do it. And here's, I here's some other things I would do. Uh, uh, I, 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 if you told me uh, when I went to the airport that uh, for $70 extra on my ticket, I was allowed to stand in a red circle <laughs> that was in a less comfortable place, I would, I would opt for that. I would, if you called it like Platinum Plus Red Circle Program, I would stand in the red circle. I, when I go to the airport, I, 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 go, I go like, well, let's see if they have a lounge. And Cody and Jeff are always like, the fucking lounges suck. There's like a seat here at the McDonald's or whatever. And they get a full bar. And I'm like, yeah, but the lounge, we don't even know the lounge. We got to go to the lounge. And they go to the lounge and they're like, ah, it's $50 extra, but I'm a member. Yeah, you're a member to a club that lets you pay $50. Okay. Uh, <laughs> And yeah. how much for my friends? Yeah, and then you go, and there's no, nowhere to sit, and there's, like, uh, crying babies are being dumped in, in the through lounge. a fucking <laughs> duct. The in the lounge? with colds. Yeah, in the lounge. Like, you can see through a tinted window that the fucking regular-ass poor people's seats are all empty because everyone wants to be in the lounge, and I, I'm no exception. I, I, I'm just like, like, what, what, is, there, is, there a, is, there a, is there a package where I can strap the babies to my feet and just, like, walk around on them and, like, be more uncomfortable, but more importantly, more important. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a terrible person. No, and, I, and, I, and, I, and I can't wait to get that fucking iPhone X because the iPhone 8 is for poor people! <laughs> is the 8... Is the 8... Is the 8 out? Yeah, same time as the X. Oh, okay. They're, they're releasing the, the new phone for the poor people, which is only $18,000. <laughs> Because you're poor and you don't want to have let, let being poor slow you down. Get a new iPhone poor people phone. Uh, and, and the, but then there's the real phone for me, the twenty-seven million dollar phone. It doesn't have a home button. They took the home button off, Eddie. You know that? I just hate, the face. I, I hate my home button. I don't like the home button either. What's that like button the... doing on my phone? I want it gone. Yeah. It, every time I touch it, I have to swallow my vomit down. I feel like a poor person. <laughs> what, why am I touching a button? What am I fucking, like some kind of fucking refugee? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's disgusting. I want, right. a, I want a phone. That, that, that... Only people in Aleppo have the eight. <laughs> right? Yeah. Don't laugh too hard at that. <laughs> right? Yeah, no, I'm looking forward to the new phone. I'm looking it's forward to the new... Me and my family are looking forward to the new phone. Every day I get up, uh, and, you know, my, you ask me about my love life, and it centers around the iPhone coming out. And, um, you know, we're, I'm like, honey, did it come out? And she's like, not yet, baby. 
<laughs> now, are you kidding or not? I get no, I, I am. I am kidding, but I so relate to you about the marketing of it. Like, yeah. like I hardly fucking use anything on it except up. turn it on and go, hello, what? <laughs> I am not an idiot. <laughs> Um, but <laughs> I'm always like, why are you calling me? Whenever my phone rings, I'm like, what the fuck went wrong? <laughs> I know. And I, I'm not, like, I swear, My phone three times rings. a week, I'm saying to somebody, how did you get this number? <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a phone. It's not, it stopped being a phone now. It's pretty intense. Like I, I just, it's I, just I, I use it to text and it email. Text. I barely check my email now. Now it's all text or I have to like a Slack channel, or whatever. The phone rings and I'm like, you, you, this, who the fuck? <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> Hello, Mr. Harmon. I just called about your medical procedure on Tuesday. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. I have an assistant. Why are you calling me about medicine? Lose this number, Marjorie. Uh, but, but wait, wait, wait. Uh, fuck. Face recognition is... Are gonna, you, the I, phone recognizes your face? Fucking good. Good. <laughs> I hope the phone recognizes everyone's face. I hope. I, remember when we, we were concerned about biometrics? Where'd that go? I was never concerned. Remember when, remember yeah. when the sign of a true anarchist is oh, you were worried man. about uh, was, uh, products being I was being so technically... concerned about biometrics. You know, <laughs> remember oh. that? That summer when we were all like... <laughs> biometrics, man. I know, I know. You know, you're <laughs> preaching to the pelicans, man. Fucking biometrics. Those bio M's are just really ah. Uh, I can't even get up in the morning, man. My fucking wife is getting down on me on her biometrics. I'm like, baby, I don't know. I can't even handle my own biometrics, let alone yours. I got another cigarette in this in these. I'm up up to three packs a day, like. You know, because all these biometrics. I'm not even talking to anybody right now. I'm just sitting on the porch, just talking to myself and smoking pencils. <laughs> Fucking biometrics, man. If it's not one thing, it's another. If it's not one metric, it's another, man. It's either biometrics, neometrics, decametrics. Octometrics. These metrics are just fucking taking over, man. They're taking my job. They're taking my family. Fucking biometrics. Some candidate should come along and get rid of these biometrics. But you grew, you grew up kind of lower middle class, right? Right, Pepitone? You were no Ivy. Yes, leader. lower lower middle class. Exactly. Both my parents uh, were teachers in uh, New York City. And, uh, teachers. Yeah. Teachers. <laughs> teachers. Cursory knowledge. School. School. Being bred for corporate culture. <laughs> no real learning anymore. No philosophy. Just you're being plugged in to a machine. School! But yeah, I, I grew up as a, a lower middle class uh, <laughs> kid. Did your parents uh, beat you? <laughs> you know, my dad, my mom was very, extremely uh, gentle. My father, Sicilian, so he had, and it's true about the Sicilian, you know, he, he had... had he, he'd beat you if someone paid him. <laughs> Look. Son, you didn't mow the lawn. I'm gonna beat the shit out of you as soon as I find someone that... <laughs> wants me there or whatever. Look at your report card. If I get $50, your ass is mine. Yeah. <laughs> Jimmy Three Toes is coming down. Jimmy Three Toes, Marvin, the, 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 the ex, Exagon is coming down. Oh, a list of... Hey, we're going on another riff. I was... No, ready. no, no, I think we are. This is the list of, of mafia guys. Oh, no, he shook it, he shook it off. Okay, he's not going to do it. I shook it off. I, shook it off. <laughs> I always felt depri uh, deprived about that, though, because my, my Sicilian uh, family had no connections at all uh, 
to the Cosa Nostra or the Black. <laughs> I mean, that would have been a nice card for me to play right. uh, when I was getting my ass kicked in, in school. Like, hey, you touch me, you're going to deal with the black hand. Right. Um, <laughs> or some shit like that. You did know? You, when's the last time you saw Godfather 2? I have... I, I, you, did you, oh, oh, me. That's me telling yeah. the kids. Yeah. Oh, no. No, I'm sorry. I, was, I, oh, just, you, I just watched Godfather 2. Remember... Well, Robert De Niro plays uh, Brando's character in Five yeah. Facts. And then, and then they, t- they walk you through. You know, he's just a regular guy. He's in New York. And then there's this guy who's like the guy in the white coat. You know, he's like Don, Don Camucci. Oh, yeah, or yeah, yeah. Like, The guy he kills, yeah. Yeah, and, he's, and, 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 then, and, then, and then De Niro's like, oh, who's that guy? Who, who was with him? And they're, and they're like, and Br- Bruno Kirby's like, that guy, you know, that guy, you know, <laughs> He, he, he owns everything, he owns everything. And everything's like, oh, it's in his neighborhood. Oh, it's everything. Oh, mamma mia. And, and, then, and, then, and, then, and then he's like, oh, I think I'll take care of it. I'll take care of it. And, and, and they're like, what are you going to do? And then no one else can do it. He's like, oh, trust me. Uh, I'm going to and, and you're just like on the edge of your seat, like, wow, we're really watching like the origin, we're watching the evolution of I the think American it'd be funny, mafia. I think it'd be funny if all Sicilians were like that because my dad was a history teacher and it'd be funny if he taught class like that. <laughs> Look. The only thing I could tell you is that the Romans had their way. <laughs> and he just walked out of the fucking class. <laughs> they had their way. They had their methods. <laughs> Read up on the catapult. <laughs> <laughs> but he, he uh, Robert De Niro, as you may recall, as Brando in his youth, the character, yes. uh, Don Corleone, he, he, he climbs up on a roof. Yes. And he... Walks across rooftops yes. so that he can get into the apartment building. Yes, of, what was that about? Of the <laughs> of the mafia don who holds Little Italy in his iron grip because of that kind of capish white thing he wears. And he has no bodyguards. He doesn't hang out with anyone. All he ever That's does true. is walk around and alienate everyone and say, say that he owns the neighborhood. Then he goes home to a one bedroom apartment in a dark <laughs> stair landing where you can access if you just go up on the roof. Also, the front door would have worked. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and he wraps a towel around his hand with a gun, and, and he goes like, hey, and he's like, oh, no, the, uh. the one contingency for which I did not prepare. <laughs> Getting oh. shot by a rival. Oh, the, you found the Black Hand's kryptonite. And bang, bang. Oh, I can't believe, well, who would have thought of this? There's bullets in my body. Oh, wait, how did I ever, oh. And then, and then, and then De Niro's character is like, now I'm the guy. <laughs> And everyone's like, can I have some money? He's like, I don't have any, but... Uh... Now, you know the reason why De Niro kept becoming the guy is because nobody could find a towel. <laughs> Very funny if you think about it. It was cool, though. The one thing that sticks out in your head is that the towel starts on fire. Remember, he wraps it around. Does it even work? Does that make a gunshot sound like less of, of a gun? A I, use a I use a pillow. I use a pillow. use a pillow. Just... Uh... Usually a throat pillow I hate because I hate the sayings on throat pillows. But it starts on fire and then he's like he's like whipping his whipping yeah, his hand yeah. around. It's kind of cool. Scorsese's a good director. I'm not being real controversial there. Yeah, Scorsese directed the shit oh, out of that. Cold <laughs> cold. <laughs> it, when he did Godfather Two, Fuck. just fucking God, nailed, he nailed it. you. He Fuck. nailed you. You know when I think of his best on a Taxi Driver, Godfather Two. Fuck. I mean, Fuck. Like, Fuck. Fuck. Edit it. Edit it out. <laughs> If you would have had the iPhone 10, it would have saved you from that. <laughs> It'd be funny if that's what the 10 does. It like interrupts you, like you're about to say Scorsese, <sighs> and it just buzzes in your pocket, and you look at it and says Coppola. I can't even hear anybody over the sound of my fucking humiliation. Coppola. <laughs> Really? Who gives a shit? I don't know. It's uh, what? There's a, uh, you don't know that Coppola directed Godfather 2? Why are you doing a podcast? <laughs> People just have turned off around the country like, yeah. turn it off, Margaret. Yes. He said Scorsese. Yes. He called us stupid idiots, but he got that trivia wrong. <laughs> I've had enough. I've had it up to here with this guy. Not fact-checking his, his riffs. It's not like I can fall back on my fidget spinner knowledge. What the fuck what is, is a what, fidget spinner? What fidget is your spinner. fidget spinner knowledge? Yeah. Let's, no, let's, I don't want their things. Let's fall back out. on your fidget spinner yeah, knowledge. Yeah. So I just empty your head about... Fidget. I don't have any fidget spinner you knowledge. You gotta know. You know what they are. That's yeah. why I'm supposed to know Coppola from Scorsese. <laughs> 
because I don't invest in fidget spinner information. If I'm going to forget that Coppola is not Scorsese, why am I not into Pokemon? Oh. That tracks. That yeah. tracks. It's either current events or like gu curmudgeon guardian of uh, nostalgia, you know? I hear you. What am I? I'm a drifting fucking wraith. Dude, what is going on? Is it with you tonight? You, you, what happened? Did something happen? I mean, nothing I'm, I'm new. concerned. Nothing. Is that what's happening? Is it nothing new? You're just well. What you want? You, you think you think that all uh, descents into darkness have to have, have some simple? Oh, a potato fell on my head while I was <laughs> fighting Peach Dragon. Like, yeah. So what's no, your I'm, What's your thing about descents into darkness, Rob? You think it's that fucking simplistic? So I'm taking go, sides with you. I just, I just, I wasn't here last weekend, and I was here the weekend before, and you, you were delightful that weekend, and, and now. I think he's being, I think he's delightful tonight. He's, he's he is delightful. <laughs> he just doesn't seem very happy right now, and I'm concerned. I'm going through changes. I, like, you, you Why want, do we have to be happy all the time? I don't get that. It's true. It's yeah, didn't you true. see that no, movie get it. with the memory islands and the different colored marbles that represent the feelings? Yeah. <laughs> Weren't the you memory sad? Island. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Sadness but is I don't a think part it's of happiness. To, uh, Absolutely. To be concerned. What's that? I don't think it's wrong to be concerned if somebody you care about is is not happy. I right? was on Duncan's podcast and I was like, yeah, I kind of bumped out and I don't care. He's like, well, that's because you got to just let eight people from Burning Man live here, man. <laughs> and I was like, I'm not going to do that. You know, like I'm not going to, I'm not going to yes and that suggestion. I know that makes me a bad person. I don't want a bunch of hippies living in my house. Yeah, no, but that, that would make you happy. But why not, man? I don't, because I, because I, because I, because I, 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 I'm evil, because I'm evil. <laughs> I don't think that's, I don't think that's evil. I don't think that's evil. <laughs> I think it's evil. I think it's evil not to let eight Burning Man people live in your house. I mean, we we we, we all know we all know that the so, we do know that the solution is we have to stop. That, like capitalism is killing us, and we have to like Absolutely. stop. And we have to like have decentralized, non-hierarchical, like like human-based like societies, like. I, I, I've known this forever. And then I was like, like but I'd Me say too. on a podcast, I'd go like, hey, capitalism sucks. And then people on the Reddit would go, then give all your money away. Yeah, fuck right. You, fuck you, fuck you. <laughs> you got me. God damn you it. You got me. I love my money. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's 9-11. 9-11. It's 9-11. I lived through fucking... I was in New York. So did I. Yeah, yeah, you were you there. Should. You pieces of shit. Bunch I'm of LA. 9-11. Bunch of LA people yelling about 9-11 when I lived through it. 9-11. Oh, you mean you were in New York? Yeah, I was, I was right. A, I was right. That know. is a high road you could take. That's, I th what, I that's th what? That's I th what I, he did. I thought you just assumed they were so young. You're, you were just like, you didn't fucking live through 9/11. Yeah. Oh no, 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 they weren't there. Like I, I right. was there. You know. Right. I mean, I was, I was in bed when it happened, but. <laughs> and my friend called, but I was close. I was close to it. I was close to it. And I got up and I, I went. Over, we, I lived like in the village, and and not, not to brag, and I, and I. Uh, <laughs> We watched the towers come down from his, his window. Uh, he, he, had a, he had an apartment looking straight at the towers, you know? David Cross said he could see people, like, leaping. That's something... People oh. don't talk about that, but, you know, there was a lot of people jumping, and they kind of just killed all footage of it and kind of was like, that didn't, didn't happen. I can't even... I mean, that, that, that has to be, like, the epitome of... Of I don't well I don't even know what the word is it's just sort of like it's like 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 to like 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 you you're watching a human being who is identical to you because they they have they're just and they, and uh, the, what you know about them on a fundamental level is that they were in such pain and fear that they preferred like yeah. I, 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 and, and like, you're just like, what, I don't know why, why am I explaining this we all know <laughs> but it's just like wow holy shit yeah and they're yelling out 9-11 well, <laughs> well it's been a few years and we, we you a know, been a few years we like to have fun you've been doing it for years 9-11 <laughs> people jump from buildings 
Yeah, but where would we get as a society if every time something was genuinely tragic or filled with pathos, we uh, paid it respect by avoiding it? Uh, oh, pro let's all prove that we're polite. Let's keep our elbows off the table, our feet off the table. Let's not sit at the table. Let's put the table in bronze. All right, look, I, I, I'm, not getting, I'm not getting the analogy, but... <laughs> <laughs> no one's ever done that before. You can do that? <laughs> You mean you mean just saying? You can just say it. Right? <laughs> you can. You, that's a move with Harmon. You could just say you're you're saying nonsense. That's not a metaphor. That's been an but, option this whole time. But but it's you like know a Grand what? Theft Auto when you found out if you hit the the bumper button you just you turned 180 degrees. I was like, holy fuck, what? I don't have to. All right. No, but, but what you're saying is true, and, and this country and the people of this country and this audience in particular, um, it, it is, we have no uh, memory of history in this country, and that's why what's going on is going on. There's no fucking... It's, it, as a matter of fact, Gore Vidal is one of my favorites. You like Gore Vidal? Woo! I, I do. I fucking love Gore Vidal. <laughs> and uh, you, you guys like Gore Vidal? Woo! He's great. And he wrote a book called... Uh, uh, the what uh, the United Amnesia? Uh, damn it! <laughs> <laughs> this is me forgetting to flush the toilet. Right. I, I love the guy who brings up Gord Vidal. That book. <sighs> Something about amnesia. Yeah. I'm the biggest fan of Gord Vidal and his. Ooh. I believe you. I believe. I believe you. I believe you. Thank you for I believing believe you. me. I believe that you will. United States of Amnesia, he yeah. called it. And uh, yeah, we don't well, remember. Well, I think we the don't... biggest contributor to my bad mood is that uh, I have a... Uh, here's a weird thing about me. I'm triggered by Nazis running in the street. <laughs> I have this crazy thing where I think that it's better to be overreactive to Nazism. Uh, jump the yeah. gun uh, if you can on that one. <laughs> Someone reminds you a little bit of Hitler, say it earlier. <laughs> Worst case scenario, you called someone Hitler too early. <laughs> Best case scenario, <laughs> you stopped a Hitler. Um, I, well, that I, is the scariest thing. I mean, look, look at the silence about it. It's it's that's the thing that I, that's, that's what's got me so grumpy lately. Is just like I I had I, so I, there's your answer by the way. I got it eventually. <laughs> it's this thing I got I got off of Twitter the minute I started seeing the anti-communist stuff. Like it was so, like that when that became like a meme or whatever the fuck you call it. That became a thought where it was like, oh, there's like. There's a lot of anti-Nazi talk, so now we're just watching history repeat itself of people going like, you know, communism's responsible for even more death. I'm, like, I'm out. I'm oh, out. Yeah. I'm out. I'm oh, gonna yeah. go because if, if I keep listening to these kids, I'm going to fucking kill myself, and that's what they want. So I'm gonna live all <laughs> over their asses. <laughs> like I, they don't deserve. Are you off of Twitter? Yeah, and I, I, I because won't say, it's really and I great. Feel great. Uh, it's really great. I love Twitter, especially lately. I'm kidding. I I'm was, so kidding. I was using it wrong. I, I, do, I am healthier now. I don't, I don't seem happier, but I'm, I am healthier. Like, my sadnesses and angers are, like, real now. It's, it's, uh, I was using Twitter wrong. I'm so glad that Lauren Duke is on it. Uh, Je just whack uh, Sarah Thayer. Like, like I, I feel like people are, like, saving the world on Twitter. I, 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 can't, I can't use it right, you know? Like, I can't. Me neither. I, I just sit there and, like, read shit, and I just, like, I fuck it. My whole, like, brain changes. But I don't want to be one of these people that's like, oh, I don't want to deal with it. Like, what, what, that's not right. good either. Like, that, that's normalizing, right? Like, you're part of the problem. Oh, I, oh, I didn't know, I didn't know a fascist coup would be uh, aggravating or exhausting. Uh, now that it is, I think I'll focus on my backyard garden. Th that's an enemy. Well, that's what I've become. That's what I am. That's what I'm doing. But I, at least if I own that, then maybe my backyard garden will turn into a, a Hitler poison. <laughs> What what what's in your backyard garden? What what fruits? Avocados. I don't avocado? know. Avocado. You have avocados. How, you I have pay people to grow the backyard garden. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. I really. Well, want just you know, uh, the reason why people one one of the big reasons why people are so quiet about uh, 
you know, the fascism that's taking over this country because they're so, I mean, we talked about the iPhone, you know, uh, movies, uh, just constant tell, you know, fucking Netflix. You know, people people are much more interested in their Netflix cues than they are in uh, the country going down the shitter. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, they're just so there. distracted by every fucking thing. And Twitter is another is is another one. You know, they're just like, I don't. They but, have no. Yeah, but I don't. I mean, I don't. I, I definitely don't want to. I don't. I don't think that the masses are being willfully cowardly or stupid or in more in love with iPhones than they are worrying about the uh, fascist takeover of the United States. I, 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 I give them at least enough credit that, that oh, no, they're very, very uh, interested in the fact that, that we're being taken over. Uh, well, they but, don't do anything about it. W- but they, Thank but, you. But they, I, I also, I mean, I, it's like I have to look within myself, and I go like, "Are you exhausted? Are you bored? Are you fucking mm. like, like, are you?" And I go, "Yes, I am. Yes, I am." And that's exactly what's happening. Is like, oh, I, like, is somebody like tweets me a, a month after November and and says, uh, "Just get back to making you you shit, you uh, fucking yeah. faggot." Um, and like, and I'm I, sorry and I, about like, that. By like, the way. like, like. <laughs> Like, the I man was, who doesn't flush his toilet. I was. Uh, I have a lot of vices. I, I was able for a you know. I, uh, okay, December. I'm like, nice try, sucker. Get back to work, indeed. Get used to it. None of us are getting back to what we do. Get back to what you do, America. Another month, another month, another month goes by. And it's like, like, it's not that I eventually was like, man, I should really get back to making my cartoon. It's not like I ever stopped. It was just like, it was like, as I got, fu- I, I, I just fucking crashed. Yeah. And then one more person is like, why don't you just shut the fuck up? And I was like, you deserve me to shut the fuck up because you're going to fucking die without me to save you. I see your... <laughs> And I raise you a, who the fuck cares you were born? I hate you! <laughs> not you in the red shirt. I'm not sure you didn't make the <laughs> sound. Did you? Okay. Piece of shit next to you? No? Okay. You? Fuck you! Stand up, face them! What's your name? Derek. Boo! Half cheers, half booze. That's what you get. This That's is like the end get. of the. Uh, it's like the end of the uh, uh, Mark, Wal- the Mark Wahlberg Rockstar movie. Rockstar. <laughs> I'm gonna slowly like, and then I'm like, and then you start taking my. You take the microphone, and I like go in the audience, and I'm like, hey, <laughs> and you can just join. You have have a fun twenty years, you white piece of shit. <laughs> have fun trying to figure out if you're a good person by seeing how many people like you, <laughs> on a fucking app. Next week's episode, I'm going to kill myself on this stage. <laughs> Are you? <laughs> Duncan Trussell will not let you do that. He won't be here. <laughs> MeUndies will be. <laughs> Warby Parker, Squarespace. Oh, yeah. Warby we've pla- we've planned a- It's a pay-per-view event. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to... I'm going to blow my brains out. What, what are you going to back... What, you, you, want, you want a microphone so you can... Uh, whatever. Well, well, no, I like, your, I like your hesitance. You've earned a microphone. <laughs> this happens on the show. Charlie, that's my name. Um, mm. No, the disinterest of people uh, caring about the fact that Trump is president, they, they've normalized it completely at this point. Like, they don't care. You've got to like, eat the they, mic. Yeah. There you go. All right, let, let me eat the no, mic. No, you're doing it. Great. Um, yeah. They, they don't care. It, it's been n- nine months. They, they're, they're over it. And it seems to be the fact of the matter that uh, Hillary is old news. Great. No one cares. Bernie, bros, still fucking, oh, he would have won, blah, blah, blah. Great. Thank you, DSA of uh, Brooklyn, New York. I appreciate you guys. Um, <coughs> but no, I, I, I'm, I'm really sick of fucking people like acting like it's normal that we have a fucking reality fucking TV star yeah. as president. It's like disgusting. It's, we, it represents like us to the world in some weird fashion, but it also should be like a wake up call for every fucking person out here that 
there's nothing normal about the world we exist in as United States of America. It's I it's. Love you, Dan. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate Dan too, but right. no, it's it's. I love oh, I thought his name was Dan. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? I, lo- I love you. I love you. No, I no it, it fucking Charlie. weirds me out, and, and, and the fact that people can yeah, actually right. normalize that is, is I think is, people are scared. They they know how militarized the police are. You know, they know how militarized every. Yeah, and they know. also just they're enacted. scared. They just decided that we can. Uh, Jeff Sessions just decided that they can sell fucking military gear back to uh, police forces now. So we can have tanks. We can have fucking uh, bulletproof riot shields. We can have fucking automatic weapons. It's it's fucking weird, and like no one wants to. Not woke is a fucking weird word at this point, but no one wants. To, <laughs> No one wants to understand that this is not normal, and it, it, it stresses me out. I'm yeah, I mean, I'm woke not, up, uh, shoopo. <laughs> no, no, none of that shit. Get that shit out of my face. That's, the, the, that's oh, the thing, though. Is like I don't want to. It, it's not like like I think we're just used to a society where actually being aware of shit like had its own momentum, and a bunch of shit would get done. If you mm. if you kind of halfway thought that Stephen Colbert was out of line on his last show and or retweeted a hashtag, like you might find out six weeks later, either a oh that person wasn't worth any money and they lost their job, or that person was Stephen Colbert, so fuck you, your opinion didn't matter. Uh, they, <laughs> but 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 like it still felt like momentum happened just by you like knowing shit, caring about shit, being afraid of shit, not putting up with shit, and we've entered a world where. You can fucking not you, you can you can not put up with as much as you want. You can you can care, you can feel, you can fear, and actually that don't that just jiggles the jello. It stays the same the, the same shape as it was, and we're all reacting to that. I don't even want to say poorly. Like whoever, however we react, that's the right way to react because all of us want to get back to a system or achieve a system where the way that we came out of our mamas was like the right way to be, that we didn't have to like mold ourselves and socialize ourselves and be enforced by some set of rules in order for us to get along with some larger thing. We all want to get to a system that some of us felt like we had where it was like, yeah, but if you're kind of yourself, like the like, 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 truthful out and like all this stuff will happen. And, like, and, and we're really like, we, we've come face to face with a system where we're like, oh shit, you mean I don't fucking matter at all? I truly don't matter. And then other people are going, welcome to the club. That's how it felt for 20 years. And we're like, fuck you, that offends me. Ah. <sighs> and it makes me, like everyone else, just want people to talk about Kmart and Stephen King's It and uh, all the shit. And so, whereas initially it was the alt-right saying everybody get back to work or it was like rednecks that were embarrassed that they voted for a guy that turned out to actually mean it when he said he wanted to build a wall whereas they thought he was actually just gonna like be fiscal or something <laughs> like 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 now it's just everybody saying i'm bored with this get back to work entertain me make jokes just talk about shit and i'm like i feel you at the exact same time as i feel you mm. i am as exhausted as you so now I'm getting back to work. I'm just being a clown. I have nothing. I don't know what to do either. I don't know who to vote for, what to do, what pie to throw at what, what bandana to put on my face. I don't know what to do. I'm just going to get back to my comedy podcast. But guess what? My comedy podcast was always me complaining about how I don't understand what the fuck is going on and everyone should leave me alone. Stop telling me to tie my shoes. So now my fucking podcast really sucks. Like, like, it's a, like, like beyond you, your every, whatever you could imagine. It's just like me going like, I'm just co- collapsing in on myself like a... Like, like, like the star I always was. <laughs> and becoming a black hole from which all light can escape because like, it's, it's a very low stakes black hole, but. <sighs> low stakes black hole, my favorite punk band. Yeah. <laughs> you asked me that earlier. Yeah. But my love life is good, yeah. Um, I'm married and we, we have pretty regular sex. Um, like two Whether I week. want it or not, that kind of thing. <laughs> well, th- thank you, Dirk. thank you, Charlie. Hey, that was appreciate it, guys. great, man. Shout out Trapo, uh, Chapo Trap House. Uh, check that out if you don't <laughs> like the world that you're living in. Right, Chapo. I, th- I, th- I think we want to get some from Chapo on the. Also, Harmon Quest. Check it out if you don't like the world you're living in. <laughs> yeah. 
Or, if the world you live in doesn't smell all right, Fulton and Rourke for all of your solid Solid cologne, cologne needs. Yeah. Wax-based colognes and perfumes <laughs> for men. Travel-safe uh, perfumes that won't break in your luggage. And they smell great. Come in one of 14 different flavors. Are you, Scents. Are, are you what are the 14 flavors? Lemon. Are you still performing here? Uh, Peppermint. Peppertone? Can people buy Sage. tickets to come see you performing? Rosemary. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I missed, I missed it. Can you start over? No. What, Dan? <laughs> Are you still doing shows here? Yeah, I have two more Wednesdays here, the, the 20th and the 27th. Go to, so yeah. go to starburnscastle.com? Yeah. Yeah. Is that the... Is, that's right. Is that the radio? I think that's Starburns right. Starburns Castle. Starburns Castle. Certainly Google Starburns get, Castle. Get tickets to Pepitone. He's not going to let you down. This is a guy who, uh, uh, just when you think uh, you might be witness to so something awful, that's when Pepitone fucking fires up like the Hulk. That's right. That's right. Like uh, This was just the tip of the iceberg tonight. <laughs> Sorry about the bidet stuff. <laughs> No, but you truly are amazing. I would recommend it to anybody because, like, like, it's 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 almost yeah. I I, I really mean that. I, 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 Thank I you. Really, really, very much respect to you. Uh, you, know, Thank you, poke, you. You poke fun of the bidet. My ass is spotless. <laughs> he doesn't. He immediately revealed he has no bidet opinions. He's just like me. He just wants people to like him. It's just like a bidet opinions. Who cares, right? Like yeah. you don't care if anyone has a shit. No, I just get anxious. I get anxious about uh, a jet of water hitting me. I do uh, too. <laughs> I'm like. You walk through the fear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I get or it. sit through the fear, whatever sit it is. Sit through it. Yeah. Uh, is there anything else because you donated your time and, and, and uh, energy to no, us I, that you want to plug? Or? Um, I'm doing a show uh, dovetailing into collapsing uh, uh, as a star. I'm doing a show. Uh, it's a one man show. Uh, it's about how I wasn't loved. No, kidding. I'm doing a one man show called End of Days. And uh, it's, it's, it's a bunch of characters dealing with kind of, you know, the Where's stuff. Where's that? Uh, I'm, I'm going to first do it in Santa Barbara, and then I'm going to find a space here. I like to announce things before I even have a space right. for it. <laughs> so you can't go, and that's the way to do it. Isn't, isn't that yeah, right? Yeah, that's the way to do it. <laughs> uh, uh, He's a good controller. He's a good controller. Yeah, what, I, so in your in your one man show, you I, did I hear right? You 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 fight the devil at the end with a rocket launcher. Is that is that true? Is that is that true? You son of a bitch! Don't you ruin it? Oh, sorry. Uh, it's he asked what? you now. Well, we'll, 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 we'll be sure yeah. to, to, to to we'll keep we'll keep our eyes peeled keep for where to your get tickets to. Them. Eyes really peeled. <laughs> I, I don't know when it's going to be anywhere. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Isn't it great? What a, one All of the right. greatest mimes of our time. Yeah. Let's thank Eddie Pepitone for thank joining Thank you, everybody. Yes. Eddie. Eddie. I love this guy. I love this guy. Oh, we're doing I'm so okay. glad you had him on the show tonight. He's, oh wow, he's great. I we, love Eddie. We Eddie's should get. I've always said, that, keep your eyes peeled. Has always. I, is that doesn't that expression actually gross you out? Do you, do you, I always I, picture yeah. like like a. But when I was a kid, I would picture a potato peeler and like <laughs> and an eyeball. Yeah, welcome to my world. That would not make you see better. Uh, I'm just saying they should stop saying that. It doesn't work. It, no. doesn't tr it doesn't scan. But nobody really it does. I think it's like a Beverly Hillbillies thing. Who, who actually says keep your eyes peeled? I think We, we just did. We just did. Like, recently. We now say, we, we say good looking out now. Good looking out. Oh, yeah. All what? Right. That's what you sound like to me. <laughs> what? I don't know. I'm making it up. I get on a stage for two hours and talk into a microphone. Incredulity isn't an option for you. You can never be surprised by anything I say. You can never be confused. What are you saying? What's happening? What's going on? Oh, well, I'll tell you. I came up and I started talking. I don't know what I'm saying. Sneaker. <laughs> We should maybe try to transition you back onto Twitter. 
See, just see what happens. It may, it may have been useful. Uh, no, I'm sorry. I was, I was doing a bit. No, it was great. Uh, Steve Levy, are you? Uh, Steve Levy, are you here? But uh, he's be, hiding in the corner. He'll be here. I said, Steve Levy, are you here? And he's still sitting with his legs stretched out, and he shrugged and was like, Yeah, I'm here. <sighs> I mean, why do you think I asked the question? <laughs> Sorry, I... It's okay. I mean, maybe I would have... You see, no, only, that was you know what I Steve done, was, That's I dumb, guess. Steve. What the fuck? No. <laughs> I think I understand. I was, in his defense, I might have been about to say, Steve Levy, are you here? I wanted to let you know, Duncan texted me while I was up here. The reason he didn't show up is because no one ever contacted him. Oh. Uh, <laughs> that's the kind of thing that Steve would like to hear standing up, I think. <laughs> but I don't know if I made it clear to you that maybe you should contact him. I don't know. All you said was, he's booked. I didn't say he's booked. I never said those words. Uh, well, you said I he's said, coming. I said, Duncan wants to do the podcast. I did not say he's booked. I don't know. I don't remember the words exactly. <sighs> Take another Valium. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Rob. What are you doing? What are you doing? Rob, I really love your shirt. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> It's amazing. Say, this is the part of the show where you stand next to the I podium? I stand during d and because my ass falls asleep on these torture chairs. <laughs> <laughs> Rob, are you wearing pajamas? Just the lower half. Oh. I love it. I like how you pronounce it. Are you wearing pajamas? <laughs> Rob, are you wearing pajamas? Yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> are you wearing flavor crystals in my class? <laughs> I, nobody believes me, but I, I, was go, I, I was this close to... Every once in a while, I think about wearing my pajamas to the show because like, I'm, like, in my pajamas. And I was, tonight was one of those nights. And I was like, eh, put on pants. It would have been crazy. Yeah, pajama been, bros. There would have been two people in pajamas up here. Yeah, two grown boys. <laughs> you know, I used to uh, uh, say, if you could make it through the whole day without taking your pajamas off, you're a pajampion. You're a what? A pajampion. A pajamian? A pajampion. A pajamian. A pajampion. It's like champion. A pajampion. A pajampion. A pajampion. What did I say? Pajamian. You kept leaving the, the most explosive letter out. And also the most champion defining letter. Right. Pajampion. Right. Okay, so you said pajampion. 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 You said that. That's what you yeah. said. Yes. And I said what? Pajamian. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> oh my God. How embarrassing for me. And high five to you with what how you pronounced it. That it's my word. Awesome. I know it's your word, and it is clearly better than the way I pronounced it when I asked you what you just said. That is so much better. It's good. No, I'm on your side on this one. That's great. S Steve? No, no, no! I'm great. I'm Steve, tell, tell, tell me you're a pajamian. Tell, tell, tell me. I'm a pajamian. Oh, you must be from a country called Pajama, a planet of like. Spencer, tell me you're a pajampian. I'm a pajampian. Oh, you mean you won a contest involving pajamas? Of course. <laughs> Wait, what contest? Uh, it all comes down to that P. What co what contest? I don't there was know. A it's good fucking like inferred. There's a contest. I couldn't hear what you were saying, so I repeated something that I thought you said. I wasn't trying to, to, to nail it. I wasn't trying to nail it, Dan. I was trying to nail it. I was going, what did you just say? Did you just say this? And you're like, and I'm like, oh, okay. Sorry, question. They all float down here. Is the new is the new it movie in theaters? Yeah. Oh yeah. How's it? How did it? Did the? It's did the, the number did, one movie at the box office. It it's it's the big. It's a huge movie. It's a huge hit. Do the is there? Do the, the the little boys don't fuck the little girl no, in no, the no, movie? No no no. no, no, no. Well, then, kid, well, then, well then count me out. Yeah. <laughs> You'll get my money when you do a proper adaptation. <laughs> Where is the lysine dependency? 
Jurassic Park. <sighs> yeah, yeah. All right, well, let's... Uh, Pajamian. <laughs> I'm a pajamian. You know something? I like my way better. Pajamian. I am a pajamian. I like it. It's mine. I pronounced it my way. I like it. Yeah, it, it sounds, sounds better. Yeah, it sounds like you're a citizen of the realm of p- pajama. Pajama, yeah, yeah. 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 I yeah. love it. I love no, it. it's great. I love it. It's a whole love totally it. love different it. concept. I love it. It's, it's, I didn't know what a pachampion was. Pajampion, not pachampion. <laughs> pajampion, P-A-J-A-M-P-I-O-N. What did I say? I said the exact same thing that you just said. Pachampion. I said the same thing. It sounds exactly the same thing. And I understood what you meant. I knew what you meant. Shrab, uh, 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 when we were when, uh, in our 20s, uh, told me that he thought that the word utensil was invented by smart people to make, <laughs> this is like to make him 90- feel stupid. Because the way he had heard the word is people would say, do you have a writing utensil? And he would say, why can't you just say a pen? And I would say, because uh, they might want a pen. Or if you, if you have a pencil in your pocket, then they might be cheating themselves out of a pencil opportunity if they, all they want is a writing utensil. <laughs> then why can't you just say pencil or pen? You know what? Language is a living thing. When, when, <laughs> when, was, when, when did you say when, when we were how old? When we were in our what? 20s. We, uh, 20s. 20 oh, years ago. Okay, and we're in our what now? Oh, dude. Oh, so. You haven't a, changed. That's my it point. It was a while ago. Changed. It was a while ago. You haven't changed. I had the utensil uh, g- g- argument recently. You, it's a pajampian thing. You're doing the same thing. Why do you think I brought it up? I'm just like trying you, to like. Your made up word? It's, it's, it's the it's, same it's, thing it's, as your it's utensil? The same thing. You're no, made it's the same up thing. It's word? the same thing. Your made up word? It's the, the same thing. The word you made up that you were so proud of? It's your the same proud, thing. Your made up word is the same as utensil in our 40s. You haven't changed. because I've it, changed so much. You've changed in one you way. You don't know. You, the only way you've changed is you started focusing on your butt. Like, you, 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 you didn't, you, you, back then, that guy, like, you would, he would have been like, what's a bidet? But now you're like, oh, get that. Yeah, that's it. Back then. And, and you found it, you got married, and, you know, that was, that was nice. That's, yeah. It still is. You're a little. You're less competitive too. I was never competitive. I hate competition. <laughs> he was competitive. When? With what? When you were when you were twenty with everything. With what? With when I was twenty? With like what? What are you trying to win this conversation? <laughs> Can we just? I. What? Can I we... thought you guys were like. I thought you guys were trying to send a signal like. You don't want to do that. No, dude. Like they say, nine eleven. Then we wrap up with the guest. You know, we got right. We got. We got no, solid, I get it. We got a solid nineteen minutes. Signal here. of what? I just thought Rob was trying to filibuster and stuff. No, no. Filibuster no. what? What, you what are you talking about? What's happening? Everyone's favorite part of the show. He yeah. thinks you hate D and D. Rob hates games. There's no. I that's hate no games. Secret. I hate competition. <laughs> I think it it makes it turns good people bad. What's this? What are you doing? That's not my name. (laughs) (laughs) All right, here we go. No glasses. Rob, I hope you never change. <laughs> he doesn't. <laughs> you like you like me, right? Yeah, I think you're great. I love right. you. Yeah, I like you too. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me at all. <laughs> Could have guessed that. I know you're big fans of his. Don't like you. 
Don't like him. I get it. You do. It's, a, you it's do. like if, ba- if you he went to Batman and said, you know, the Riddler and the Joker are teaming up. Batman would be like, I, yeah, doy. <laughs> Doesn't change a thing about life in Gotham for you, this dark you, night. You like me. Stop I'll doing that. I'll still be down in my basement analyzing perfume. Man, if Joker, Joker and the Riddler teamed up, it would be confusing because you would be like, <laughs> yeah. is this a riddle or is this a joke? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I think DC is currently exploring it, but Batman's in the middle and has to choose his side between the Riddler and the Joker. They're yeah. pinned against each other. Yeah. I, I mean, you know the Joker's like, come on. And the Riddler's like, what? And the Joker's like, Riddler? And he's like, what? It's a kind of joke. No, it's not. No, it's a... <laughs> so dumb. It's more like a test question. Yeah. They well, should change it. They should change it. Because if they fixed it, it would be famous. <laughs> they should, you, should, you, should, you should write them to fix it. Before, before another movie or a millionth comic book comes out or action figure. They My should, God. Okay, so, shit, you're yeah. right. We should fix that. Yeah. We should fix that. Could I sum up your uh, argument? We should... Fix that. Then we'll be famous. Yeah, this is you. So in other words, we're talking about it. Uh, that's your argument? Uh, we're what? talking about, yeah. about it. What? What's my argument? You've turned into your mother. Hey, Zach, you got that D&D music? Yeah, I yeah. I don't think they have that. Yeah, they do. No way. You ready, Spence, for that recap from no, last week? No, Somebody, somebody take control here. That's what you guys were doing. I All miss right. Jeff. I miss Jeff. Last time... I'm, I miss our friendship. <laughs> this is why I didn't want to start the D&D. We could just keep this going. Last time, turned out the banditos were assassins. That was it. Oh. Really, I mean, nothing happened. We chased down the banditos. Seemed like they were assassins. Right, and then we, but we, we lost the banditos. But the, really specifically, were we chasing them or? Uh, yeah, no. Um, what happened is Patchens was like, oh man, there's this relic I was supposed to be guarding. It was the most perfect jewel they'd ever seen, and it got stolen. And then you were like, don't you worry, Patchens. Right. That's all. Yeah, we gotta go get those banditos. You gotta go check that out. <laughs> How many banditos were left? Uh. There's two that are dead, so there's maybe four or five. Fuck. Did that, you guys see which way off. they went? I, I just did woke up out one, of a dream. Did they all head in one direction? Uh, yeah. They headed to the north. Who's the fastest? That would be me. I, I start running as fast as I can. I got a speed of 20. I'm running 20. Not I'm running fastest. full 20. Um, running full 20. Chad, would... <laughs> running full 20. You guys can't even see my legs move. All right, yeah, Chad's running. 20! Oh, yeah, no, I know. You got to right. roll on that shit. No, you run 20. That's just what happens. There's no rolling. I'd like to run 30. Where? 30. You can't. You can't do that. He's very competitive. Yeah. Where are you going? Where are you guys going? North. Yeah, right. we're running north. No, don't just say north. Follow the banditos. Where are the banditos no, that's going? The, that's the direction they went, isn't what? it? I don't know. Oh, I thought you said... No, I did say north. I just want to be clear. You just say you're running. It doesn't make any sense. All right. You're running. Yeah, but it's been like... It's been a lot of time. Well, that's not our fault. We would if it, uh, that's well. Yeah, well, yeah. Time goes. Whether okay, because we not had a we... conversation about what. Yes, you're right. Yeah, like, like, yeah. I know we can't see them. Right. So you're just running. All right. Yeah, you keep running. Is right. Patchens with us? Ran off. Uh, no, Patchens is with Dan, who hasn't started running as far. Yeah, as Dan, I'm you got to start running. I got to run. I got to take care of Patchens. I'm a cleric. You guys go chase the banditos. I can't hear you. I'm too far away because I ran so fast. <laughs> good. That's what I wanted. 
Chad, maybe we should turn back. I just started running because I wanted to show I was faster hey, than fuck you. fuck that guy. You do, yeah. You catch up with him, yeah. Or you overtake him, even. Hey! Yeah. <laughs> All right, you see another one of these banditos, except he's lying on the floor and he seems to be cut in half. What the fuck? Hey, are you okay? <laughs> he doesn't answer. I give him a good shake. <laughs> He the, up the top half, the top half. <laughs> hey, hey, buddy, wake up. Wake up. Who did this to you? <laughs> Who did this to you? Who did this to you? I ran here as fast as I could. Who did this to you? <laughs> and that's saying a lot. <laughs> yeah. Who did this to you? He doesn't answer. I shake the bottom half. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't happen. Nothing happens. I, I search the corpse. All right. He's got a sharp dagger. And uh, he's got the same stuff as the other guy. He's got a sharp dagger. He's got a sword. He's got a poison pill. And he's got this armor. I'll keep the poison pill. Yeah. Just in case. <laughs> I take a dagger. Okay. But I don't, I don't let Steve's I'm character to, know. Yeah. You know, how... how <laughs> I can't remember how Patchens is, what his condition is. Is he stabilized? He's, yeah, he's fine, but he's wounded. All right. Well, he's and I'll, in pain. Then I'll let them... Hey! Hey! Hey, we found this guy over here! Can I hear them? Can I hear uh, them? Yeah. You found a bandito? Yeah, in half! <laughs> I'm with Patchens. You found him in ham? Half! Half! It's an F! Half! Half! He's cut in half. We found him that way. Are there more? Halves? There's still two so far. The top half and the bottom half. You have to find Patchen's gem. His gem? He's got. He's got something about Patchen's. What was it? It was like a. It was a, like a gem. Yeah. Look for a gem. Gem? A gem. Gem. Well, well, kid, we'll look for it. We search the area for the gem. You don't find it. It, it's not there. It's just a dead guy. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I forgot a thing from last week. These aren't real banditos. These aren't real banditos! They, they, they're, 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 they were sent by somebody. They were part of some uh, I guild. That last part. <laughs> Get back! Come back! Okay! I'm there. I ran so fast. Hey! <laughs> What did you just say? I'm sorry, there was a tree in the way, but the audio was blocked. The banditos are disguised as banditos. They were sent by... These uh, are faux ditos? <laughs> what the... Oh, my... Friends and neighbors, I am pissed off. <laughs> faux... Uh, uh, Ditos, and they're part, and they're and they're part of some guild or something that I'm sure mm. if we get back yeah. to town, we'll find out. They'll have headquarters there. I mean, these which, guys aren't just which rock- town are we going to? Yeah, well, we're going back to the Tom Fell town. No, 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 no. We're going back to headquarters of the Go back to the Silver he- Flame, yeah. which is in. Yep. <laughs> yeah. What was the name of that town? Yeah. What was that town? In? Yeah, it hadn't been mentioned yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's, why don't we go to the town? But you Let's, all know the name We of should it. know, yeah. What is it? You do know it. What is it? I'm not sure. Well, I sure the fuck don't know. <laughs> it's Placeholder. Oh. Yeah, back in Placeholder, population 
uh, tilde <laughs> 1,000. <laughs> Question uh, mark, question mark, 7,000. There's probably a better ways to catch these banditos who aren't really banditos mm, the, uh, than mm. chasing them through the woods. And so, Steve, you're still by the corpse, right? I am. All hey! Right. Hey, Steve! Yeah? <laughs> Where are you, man? <laughs> I'm still looking at this corpse. <laughs> All right! <laughs> Come back to... Whoa, whoa, wait, 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 wait. He took some of the poison. He you mean took like a he poison. drank it? No, 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 he's got it on him. Just, I'm not, I'm, I don't know why he took it. I'm sauntering back. All right. Ooh, hi. <laughs> What's up with your wiggle? <laughs> Feeling really good about that guy getting cut in half. Yeah, well... He stabbed Patchens like seven times. No, these are bad dudes. They didn't expect us to live to see, to, 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 to tell the tale, much less catch back up with them, which we will once we get to placeholder. Do you, do you think they went to placeholder? It's been a long time since we've been to placeholder. It's a, but, but yeah, before the campaign started, that's where we were. <laughs> we gotta get back and report to our superiors. We got a sick Patchens. Got to get him healed up, but we're responsible for the fact <clears throat> that he lost his little artifact. And believe me, we're gonna make right by this kid. Oh, good. <laughs> should, should we go now? Or yeah, go we uh, we uh, load up the cart. You don't have a cart. <laughs> we load up the. Do we have uh, horses? No. Whatever happened to our horses? You didn't take them when you left. I thought we had a cart. I thought we had a cart. Yeah. How did I... Okay, what, what, we had we a should cart. run back. There was a cart, yeah, but there's no horses for it. <laughs> so we've just been walking? Yeah, I don't think you've been taking the cart. <laughs> All right, well, we keep walking. Then. Wait, right. What are we, fucking animals? Yeah. Should we play rocks, paper, scissors for who gets to carry the rest of the team in the cart? You know, like, be the horse? I don't think you have the cart. I don't think you would have just dragged the cart all this way without horses. <laughs> I thought we had two horses. No, I don't think so. That might be the case, but the horses would have been killed while you guys were investigating stuff. So Ooh, when you well came that, back well, to the okay. cart, they wouldn't have been alive. Oh, oh yeah. I, well, is Patchens okay to walk? Yeah, but he's wounded and crying and sad. You want me to talk to him? I think you should. <laughs> yes, yes, I okay. do. Hey, buddy. Hey, man. He's what, crying. He's, what's, what's going on? What's happening? What's happening up there? What's going on in that head of yours, Patches? What's, up, what's, what's with that? Come on. Just Come on. Nobody wants to hear this. Nobody <laughs> wants to hear this stuff. I know. Yeah, you think you got it pretty bad, huh? You got it yeah. pretty bad? Hey. Look at this weird hand I have. <laughs> My, I was born with this. You, see, you don't see me crying. I got it figured out, guys. Took care of it. I memorize spells. Like, what if I, if I could meditate for four hours? Yeah, sure. I'm going to sure. do, do a new loadout. All right. Do we just sit Wait. and watch <laughs> him meditate for four hours? <laughs> And wait. We should set up a little camp and build I a fire. I thought we were going to fucking the placeholder. And then you started doing ordinary people with a non-player character. I thought we were walking while ordinary people. Yeah. Have night, you ever night. seen ordinary people? <laughs> yes, I. Yes, yeah, I did. you have. Oh, what's yeah, your favorite I, scene in Ordinary People? When. Uh, yeah. Uh, when Faye Dunaway. <laughs> Talks to Timothy Hutton and about his brother's death by boat, which in which she feels she was cheated because she liked his brother better. That's why he tried to kill himself and needs to see Judd Hirsch as a therapist. It's basically goodwill hunting <laughs> with better actors and better writers. <laughs> I think it's that's, Mary that's, Tyler Moore, not Faye Dunaway. Right. <laughs> Fuck you. Nobody knew. You didn't know. I didn't know either. Yeah, you didn't no, know. No, no, I didn't. 
I didn't know. Yeah. I didn't know. But I don't think that's what I was doing when I was talking about my weird hand. <laughs> <laughs> so we all watch him for four hours meditate. No, set up, build a fire and sleep or something. Like setting up camp. I can't sleep with you meditating next to me. <laughs> Silver flame. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Burn so brightly. <laughs> Cleanse the world. Learning loadout. Four. Okay. I'm gonna go with loadout. Four. <laughs> Create water, <laughs> detect magic, mending, purify food. This, how, this how? loadout sucks. No, changing my mind. <laughs> what am I, a uh, fucking Walmart? Uh, how about loadout three? Offense, yeah. Guidance, light, stabilize. While Carlos is doing this, I'm just doing like crunches and push ups, preparing <laughs> for whatever's moderate, coming yeah. up next. Yeah, I'm going right. to so stick with the offensive loadout. Cool. What? Wait, after all the, all that, you're deciding to stay with what you already had? Well, I'm recharged now. I have everything known again. Okay. <laughs> Can I, I take out my compass and look for north? You find it. <laughs> north is where we should go. Let's go now. All right. We start heading north. Let's find out what happens next time. What? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, right. yeah, look at me. This is me. This is my fault. <laughs> well, you could have had like a, a Umber Hulk come out of the fucking forest. And... An Umber Hulk comes out of the forest. Oh, shit! <laughs> fucking it's on, man! Come on! God damn it! I start running around the Umber Hulk <laughs> at 20, running as fast as I can. All right, you. I'm running around the Umber Hulk. You provoke 30 attacks of opportunity. <laughs> I think, yeah, that's good. Yes, he's proud of himself. All right, well, that's Harman Town for this... Uh, what? This week. Zach McKeever, Chris Baruff, Sarah Hill. Hill. Man. It's never this quiet when Jeff ends the show. Well, he always hits the music. Guest comptroller Rob Schraub, Game Master uh, Spencer Crittenden, Steve Levy, Eddie Pepitone. The city of Burbank, the state of California. Maybe I was kidding when I called you stupid. Maybe I don't care. We don't know. Stay in the fog. Stay, stay curious. Look at everybody running out of the building. Just like... You're welcome for the free uh, booze. Uh, but tip the tip the Venmo, tip the bartender uh, if you if you partake of our free free goodies, uh, and uh, we'll, we'll we'll see you next week. Yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you get any of that? It's a good show.